You wanna show me around your new crib? How long have you been here? Like a month now? Yeah. Bitch, I did. So yeah. Yeah. Who showed you my music? Tay was like, check out this dude. He's, you know, making a splash. That's in my immediate thought. I was like, he's got a cool vibe. I saw him DM me and I, I was just like, yo, Justin Bieber just fucking DM me. Let's fucking go. I was like, yo, what the fuck do I tell him? What do I tell him? What do I tell him? I was freaking out for like a whole day. It was kind of crazy. Hilarious. The first time I actually called him, he was in the shower. FaceTime? <laughs> yeah. He literally seen my call in the shower. He got out of the shower, halfway in the shower, halfway out of the shower. And he answered the phone and I was like, what's up, dog? Like, you can call me when you're done showering. <laughs> isn't it, cr I mean, this is just a, cr a weird thought, but I was, isn't it crazy, like, the di like, even just how much different I look in those, like, two clips? The, I was like, it's like, I look like a whole different human being. Yeah. So wild, I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> the moment I met Justin, it was just all about positivity, coming in here and like, no judgment zone, let's all have fun. When you're singing, believe everything you're saying while you're singing loud. It helps so much, like, just sing it and like, really think about what you're saying while you're singing. I'm sure you do that. So he plays me this song, Stay, at my house. Him on it, by himself. He was like, I don't think I'm gonna use it for my album. And I was like, well, if you don't use it, like, give it to me. Like, I'll yeah, use it. Like, this yeah. is a great song. I actually remember you telling me, no, you gotta put this on your, yeah. on your thing. This is yeah. too good. Holy oh, shit. True story. He definitely told me, he was like, cause I remember being like, I don't know. It was at a time where like, I think maybe at the time I was just kind of like a little, um, I don't know. I was just getting in my head a lot about it. And I was just like, I knew it was really good, but I was like, maybe it would be better if it was on your album because maybe this has like, maybe this is more of like the vibe for your album as opposed to my thing. And I just remember him being like, you have to use this for your shit. Like this is too good. So um, thank you, Justin, for telling me to keep that song <laughs> for my thing. <laughs> that's a fucking great song. That's it. Yeah. You wrote that, bro. Yeah. That's fucking sick. I knew that song was a smash when I first heard it. Wow. Alright, you think about it? I do. If you're in your head about the moment that you stepped out. And you're not going to be able to keep going in the way that you yeah. just let it roll off of you. Like, you know, like, I'm still you're here to see me. I'm here to see okay. you. The Justin thing, that was just euphoric. I remember him being a little boy, and I went to take him to the cinema to see the, the tour when he'd wear all the, the purple. And he looked at me, and I actually got serious, and he said to me, I'm, I'm going to be like him one day. You know, and... Justin, of course, brought a huge element to the success with Stay. Shut the fuck up. Stay just number one again for a dog week. I just found that out. It's sick. Ready to move when you are. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> love you. Love you. Oh, well, I love you. Let's just discuss the things that you did in the course of that show. You called the head of the label up. You tried to make him stage dive with you. Pussy.